Okay, we had some questions on about how to drive this car. So I'm gonna go show how, uh, how I try to make it work. Uh, the first is the, the propulsion of it. It's a hydrostat. So uh, this here's the front axle, forward and back, rear axle, forward and back. And they're not directly hooked together. They're just separate. They're separate, two separate pumps pumping oil to two separate pumps or separate motors. So forward, that's forward, that's reverse. So that's pretty basic. Uh, part of the issue with, with the car is uh, the, on the low end torque, I, I need to be able to add, if I've got the rear end loaded up heavy, I need to be able to add some torque to the rear. So this lets me tweak it. If I'm up here, I can more power to the front or rear as need be. So that's kind of how the the propulsion system works going forward and backwards. Okay, the, the throttle on this car, I've got a standard gas pedal down there, accelerator pedal on, on, on here, but I, on Rock Spider, which was a hydrostat car, because uh, you need constant torque, I had a governor on it and a rheostat so I could actually turn the power, this, the RPM of the engine up and down and the gover governor would maintain it. On this car, I'm just using my foot to do that right now, but I believe I will probably wind up with uh, a governor in this car. I like the way that worked and, and with a rheostat so I can just set the RPM at 2500 or, or wherever I want it and the governor will maintain that. And that will let this foot do uh, another task rather than just running because now as I put power in, I need more power so I'm, I'm stepping down on the gas to get the power. Um, and letting off and so it's just kind of a balance is what I'm doing now to drive the car uh, simply because that's the way it's I don't have the uh, a governor on it so uh, but I can see in the future a governor being the 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 ticket to run in this car and just a rheostat and your speed controlled with the hydrostat totally I guess skid steer or any other hydrostat vehicle yeah okay, I put uh, uh, brakes on this car which in reality, with a hydrostat, you shouldn't ever need brakes, and you really don't unless something breaks, so hence the brakes. Um, so it's a vacuum uh, assist brakes. Uh, so pretty standard on them. Uh, I've also got just uh, manual locks, so that's my parking brake is just valves on each line so I can lock the front or rear independently of each other, uh, plus a little bit of redundancy when I am parked with both of them locked. So that's how the, the braking system of the car works. Uh, there'll be a little bit of, of refinement on this because I am going to add uh, controls down here some uh, to drive the car. Driving the car all the time holding it is, is not working out. It kind of wears the wrist out even though they push quite easy. A couple hours or an hour like that going down the road is too much. So that will get incorporated into a foot pedal that I can drive it forward and backwards just by rocking my foot. Okay, the rest of these buttons, and it looks like a lot of them, but it's really pretty simple. Uh, this row, these two up here, that makes the front shorter, that makes the front longer, that makes the rear longer, that makes the rear shorter, move in. This row of buttons here, there's four of them. One for the right or left front, right front, left rear, right rear. So basically that raises the car, that lowers the car on that one corner. And that raises the car, that lowers the car on the other corner. This one on the rear, raise and lower, raise and lower. So the top row raises it, the bottom row lowers it. So pretty easy to get muscle memory to do these basic steps if I didn't have to twist my wrist around to drive the car. So, uh, 
we'll work something out. But that's how the car works right now. challenge out here to film and video this we uh, have the blue angels practicing right above us so you know we're roughing it out here in the desert uh, with a, a free air show every three hours so that's kind of fun <laughs> <laughs> 